name is Samantha James. Welcome to my channel or welcome back. Today we have a pick a card for you about what your person would say to you if they could, if they would. We have three piles to choose from today. We have pile number one with the clear quartz and the agarthens, agarthens, aliens. We have the number one, manifesting multidimensional perception attunement. We have pile number two with the pink calcite crystal and the Lyrans number 11, which is like the cat alien race, strength, courage, bravery. And then we have pile number three with the moonstone. And we have the Andromedans number four, autonomy, free will, manifestation. All right, so we have three piles to choose from today. I did want to announce that I am open for private readings. So all that information is down below. But I will see all of you guys at your pile. Hi, pile number one. If you guys chose the clear quartz or the, you were attracted to this alien oracle card, the Ag Agarthens, Agarthens, number one, manifesting multidimensional perception attunement. This is your pile. We're going to talk about what your person would say to you if they could or would, or let's say they're just not saying a lot and you would want to have like an open conversation with them. What would that look like? I'm already choking up, so I feel like maybe your person is just not a great communicator, but I guess we'll see. I am going to check into the energies to confirm this is your pile if it doesn't sound like your pile there's two other piles you can choose from um but instead of wasting anyone's time and you're like 20 minutes in and it's like turns out that you don't even know who i'm talking about we're not going to do all that so i have pre-shuffled some oracle and some tarot cards just to kind of get the energy but i did want to talk about this oracle card here with the Agathens. number one manifesting multi-dimensional perception attunement so we have attunement we have synchronicities we have Healthy lifestyle, ascended consciousness. Okay, the Agarthens ancestors were initially Atlantean and Lumerian refugee survivors from the Atlantis destruction. Agarthen are now a highly advanced, multidimensional, sophisticated civilization that resides inside the pristine core of hollow Earth. Okay, all right. So they live in inner Earth. Look at all the... Look, they have mammoths there still. Talos is one of the divine citadels of the Argathans located beneath Mount Shasta, where they live a fruitful, serene, and abundant lifestyle far superior to surface dwellers. Okay, so I'm... I'm kind of getting from this card that... You guys could be really into manifestation. You could be, like, very in tune with your spirituality. I feel like, hi, hello, we're, like, on a tarot reading, so... You're, you're pretty there and you could be trying to manifest like a positive outcome um, in this connection with your person. Not saying that it's not positive right now, but it could just be that you are kind of looking at this connection with your person from a spiritual point of view and they could probably not be that way. <laughs> they could probably be the opposite. So they're not very good at like communicating exactly what they're feeling in terms of this connection and that could be why you're here and we're gonna really kind of dig into what this person is would say to you if they could or if they're holding it back intentionally we have 32 kabbalah the tree of life integration life lessons emanation number 32 i kind of wanted to look up in the book what that meant because I, I see hebrew on it but i want to like confirm it's hebrew Okay, so this person could be Jewish, or you could be Jewish, or we're just out here. We have the ancient Hebrew Kabbalah Tree of Life map structurally evolved from the Flower of Life sacred geometry and was used by ancient Jewish Magi and mystics, which later introduced Hermetic Kabbalah. The Tree of Life is the esoteric blueprint describing the psychological principles, practices, and energy forces, emanations that lead on the pathway to the unnameable, omnipresent cosmic God. Not including... Dot, the tree of life, contains 10 interconnected spheres that represent specific archetypal states of the human psyche. 
These emanating sephirites have a cause and flow on effect to activate other sephirites through the 22 varying lines connected as follow. All right. So I don't know anything about that, but that, that would be interesting to look into, but maybe you know about it. So definitely comment down below if that's something that's like a big sign for you. We have emanation, cause and effect, consequences, integration, improvement, progress, life lessons, learning from your lessons. Okay. Let's continue to pull your cards. We have king for your archetype cards, child, ma magical, seeker, and rescuer. We have friendship and adversity, worry. We have the bear spirit, so earth, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, um, or this person could just, that could be like an inside joke between you two or something that kind of went on between you two. You're calling them a bear or something. For your tarot cards, we have the six of wands, the seven of cups, the queen of cups, and the ace of wands. All right. So for signs, we have... Um, fire as well. You have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Queen of Cups with the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So we have water, fire, some earth. This could be someone that um, you've had a long relationship with, with the Kabbalah tree of life, or um, this could, for some of you, honestly, it doesn't even, it, it could like be platonic. It could be that I'm picking up on a a situation with a family member or a friend and there's something that went down and you're you're wondering what this person would say to you there's definitely a situation going on with adversity and worry with this person um there's a situation that i feel like both of you mutually want to overcome so if you're in some sort of current separation from them um if there was some sort of fight or if there was something that kind of went down between you two, I feel like both of you mutually are worried about the connection um, ending and would like to f continue talking or further it or come back together. I feel like there's an age gap here between you and this person. For those of you where it is romantic, I definitely feel like maybe there could have been a friendship prior. Um, <laughs> it could have just been like a friends with benefits situation prior and then it turned into like something more. I definitely feel like with the bear spirit, this is someone who tends to be more introverted and they tend to be more on the subdued kind of chill side. I don't think this is someone that's trying to like be out there. Um, with the seeker energy, and I do, I do kind of feel like, what am I trying to say? I, I kind of feel like y'all are opposites. It, I feel like if I, and the, the, the energy is very split in this group. And I feel like for an energy check-in, what I'm trying to say is like, if you feel like your person is like the opposite of you, you guys are just so different, then yeah, this probably is resonating with you. But it's hard to break it up because I feel like one person, and I do think there's an age gap. I feel like one person here is just, more practical <laughs> very practical that's like the word that i'm looking for like they're just if they don't see it in front of them then they can't really believe that it exists and i feel like you and i'm assuming it to you the watcher the viewer is the opposite <laughs> i feel like we have child magical this person could kind of look down on you as a child it doesn't have to be like they're looking down on you but it I feel like, I feel like there's an age gap. I don't know. That's the third time I fucking said it. I don't keep saying it. But for some of you, it's, this is a platonic like relationship. This is something could even be with someone in your family and you're like, something happened with them and you're kind of wondering 
what they would say to you if they could or they don't communicate their feelings. It could be like a father figure, brother figure, could be a friend, could be a teacher. You know, I am seeing many different situations, but there is some sort of like difference in um, position in society. And then there seems to be like a, a difference in, in age or like knowledge. So if that is sounding like your pile, then you're in the right place. We're going to further get into it and talk about what this person would say to you um, that they're not saying if they could. Um, there's definitely a rescuer energy here. Someone maybe being, if this is romantic, attracted to you and like attracted to maybe you when you're more sensitive or there's some sort of damsel in distress kind of vibe here with worry and adversity. It could be like you're going through something and you're seeking help from this person and that's something that they liked a lot actually this person sees you as someone who has a lot of options like or could have a lot of options they could be kind of worried about that i think they're at the stage right now within this connection where they would look at that as like motivation like in a competitive way but i do see this as something that they think about and it's not like they're thinking about it in a negative way either. It's they're kind of like, well, look at you, like, look at all the great qualities of group number one. Like, why wouldn't someone, why wouldn't they have a lot of options? You know, they're the queen of cups embodies someone who is really in touch with their feminine side, who is very sweet and um, kind and has a big heart and, you know, gets along and goes along and just a really mellow, easygoing person. I would think that the Queen of Cups is so opposite than the Queen of Wands. You know what I'm saying? And so this person's kind of looking at you in this way. There's definitely sexual attraction here with the Ace of Wands and the Six of Wands. Like, this person does want to fuck you, but, you know, we're not going to get into that in this reading. Um, check out the Extended, though, because we will get into it in the Extended. But, yeah, I, I do feel like this person does have concerns about that, but... That could be something that they're not gonna say to you. <laughs> like what they wish they could say to you, but they're not going to is like, I feel like you have a lot of options. Maybe maybe you have a lot of DMs or maybe they wanna get information on that with Seeker here and they don't know how to, maybe it's a legitimate worry <laughs> of theirs, but they're like with friendship here, they could be in the friend zone or they could be, in just the kind of like getting to know each other zone and so I do kind of see that all right what else what would this person say to you we have the eight of cups in reverse the nine of swords let me make sure this is all in frame too okay we have the nine of swords the eight of cups so the Eight of Cups in reverse, the Eight of Cups in the upright is about walking away from something that is negative and it's, it's, you know, there are actually a couple cards in the deck that symbolize like an ending. This is one of them, but I, it's more of an emotional, like walking away from something. And then we have the Nine of Swords, which is just pure anxiety. It's just like someone who is riddled with anxiety and anxious thoughts and doesn't necessarily know what to think or what to do in this moment it's we have that eight of cups in reverse and that nine of swords next to it i do feel like this person um has a lot of anxiety over you and the connection we're gonna dive deeper into like what about what like could it be what we had just mentioned but with the eight of cups in reverse and like the theme of this reading i feel like they they in their best they, they put their best foot forward in this connection and their best foot forward wouldn't involve them telling you any of this. So it's not like they're um, keeping things from you and like purposely leaving you out in the dark. It's like, like, like self-preservation. Like this person's trying to impress you. If they were to tell you everything that's on their mind, we have the tower in reverse coming out. You wouldn't, they feel like you wouldn't like them. They, feel, they don't want to fuck this up is like what I'm seeing. We 
yeah three of pentacles this could be somebody that you work with honestly because i'm getting a lot of like maybe it's not even an age gap maybe it's like a position difference it could be like a boss or a manager of yours or it could be that i'm just seeing a professional difference Maybe this person can't approach you in that way because of a situation like school or work or something where it's like taboo. So I think it could even be that you're asking about that person. Like you guys can't just go straight up into dating and, and talking freely. There's some sort of tension here. You're wondering what this person would say to you. I definitely think they're attracted to you for sure. I mean, they've definitely taken notice of you to be representing you as the Queen of One, the Queen of Cups here with the Ace of Wands. Like, this is not if they they play it cool, like they don't notice you. I think that's bullshit. <laughs> I definitely think they do. Um, to the point, back to the Nine of Swords and the Tower in Reverse. To the point where they like have a, they think about it a lot, like what their options are if they could approach you like could they talk to you could and if they did what would that look like like i do feel this person fucking does a lot of overthinking what else like i think in their fantasy like their wildest fantasies like yeah like knight of wands like yeah i'd fucking come towards you and ask you on a date <laughs> and like you know fuck everything else i think their wildest fantasies like you would say yes and everything would just go so smoothly but I feel like this person they overthink that <laughs> to a point where they just destroy that fantasy in their mind like it doesn't look like that you reject them they look like an ass you guys work together you report them to HR I don't fucking know <laughs> but this person's like they're they don't know what to do as far as this situation goes. We have judgment. We have the six of cups. I feel like they're just waiting it out. And I feel like they do. Um, first of all, they do really believe you have a lot of options. So I don't know if they know that about you or you do or you have a, you're in a relationship currently. Or I don't know what's going on with your situation. But they don't even think they can come towards you. So they're kind of like, yeah, we have love in reverse coming out. Like they don't think it's a possibility. Comfort in reverse. Damn. Pain. Damn. All right. Well, here's the thing. Um, I feel like it could be that this person, you know, has these thoughts and feelings. They're thinking on this. This is things that they wish they could communicate with you, like in a freely open environment but there's clearly a restriction here there's clearly something that doesn't allow them to um i don't think they're purposely trying to like not keep you in in the conversation you know what i'm saying i feel like they feel what you're feeling too um and they want to talk about it as well but they can't for whatever reason you have protection so fill in the blank could be that you're married we have disruption coming out we have anxiety coming out could be that you work with this person could be that they're your teacher or whatever the fuck it is so but i do feel like what this person would say to you has a lot uh, to do on the lines of feelings but also like a sexual like intentions we have hope the waiting game yeah i do feel like this person is trying to wait it out in a sense we have um foundation achievements number four which i really equate to the four of wands coming out in reverse it almost feels like because it's a little dramatic for love to come out in reverse and then pain to follow so it almost feels like you are already in a relationship and it's not an option for them um or you're just not interested or they if this is someone that you have been friends with you could have they could have seen you through a relationship and they just think you're unavailable 
We have trust, healing family issues, heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Okay, so with trust, the situation is calling for you to have faith and the waiting game and hope. I do feel like there is a sense of like this person wanting to wait it out. Like it's, I don't, until they say anything, until they admit anything, I feel like they really don't want to right now. They really aren't going to say anything. This is not a conversation that's going to be had with them. Um, I, I do think with King and Rescuer, they want the best for you, whatever that looks like. So that kind of looks like a situation where they're not in the picture um i feel like this person will deal with that like they'll cross that bridge when they get to it but yeah we have a higher bond reverse strength it's just giving me vibes that you're like completely not a thing so like if you're here <laughs> because you're wondering like i don't know maybe you feel the energy or the tension or whatever it is and you're just kind of curious about it like yeah you're not crazy like yeah this person's super into you and it goes beyond that but there's a definitely a lot left unsaid for very logical purposeful reasons okay so let's do some tea leaf oracle and then I'll do some channeled oracle and then I am going to leave that here and then I will extend this. We're going to be talking about their late night fantasies. It's going to be an 18 plus. That's linked down below. All right, we have fly. A period of ill health, depression, shark, take care or there will be a loss of material wealth in December person could be born in December you'd be born in December we have skull hidden secrets can harm you damn and claw be careful do not take risks whoa so maybe this person like I said there's something very restricted about maybe this person like knows who you're with and they say something they'll get beat up I don't know but it seems like very risky for them to kind of verbalize anything that's on their mind right now. So they're definitely not going to. Um, I feel like this person's kind of going through it right now. Or you, you could be going through and they could be seeing that. What would they say to you? Channel messages. I couldn't let you get close to me. I want to feel that way again. I wish things could be different. We need to let each other go. Damn, group number one. Holy shit. All right, so for some of you, this could be an ex. I lost myself for a little while or someone that you dated and like it didn't work out or it didn't lead anywhere and then you dated someone else and now they're upset that you're with someone else or whatever it is. You don't know how hard it was to let you go. I wish I had treated you better. I knew exactly what I was doing and I will wait for a sign from you. Okay. I couldn't let you get close to me and I knew exactly what I was doing. So this person could have like sabotaged the relationship somehow or the connection. There could have been a ghosting or I do feel like with depression, with shark and fly, like this person was going through, it probably still is with I lost myself for a little while. You don't know how hard it was to let you go. I do think that you were something that made them very happy. This does now make sense why we had love and comfort in reverse. Like I thought that was pretty dramatic and then we had pain come out. So it could be that this is something that shakes up this person, something about you in the situation, now seeing you someone else or had moving on and wishing that they could have verbalized some of this to you but maybe too much time has passed or too much has gone down for them to be able to but there's definitely a restriction um so yeah that that is what i am seeing for you guys group number one i really hope that resonated 
I'm gonna extend this. The extension's gonna be an 18 plus. We're gonna talk more about what they would say to you um, and their late night fantasies. That's linked down below. I am booking private readings again, so if you guys were interested in getting a private reading from me, that information is also down below. In the meantime, however, stay safe and stay healthy, and I will see you guys in the extended. Hi, group number two, welcome. If you guys chose the pink calcite and the Lyran Oracle Alien card, number 11, Strength, Courage, Bravery, this is for you. So I'm gonna read a little bit about the Lyran Alien race. And then we're gonna do an energy check-in to make sure that this is your pile so that you don't waste your time. And then we are gonna talk about what your person would say to you if they could, what they wish they could say to you. Um, and we'll do some channeled messages. And then you have the option to extend this if that's resonating, we'll do some more channeled messages. We're gonna do an 18 plus and we're gonna do their late night fantasies about you. So, hello, hi. and. And one more announcement, I am booking private readings. So if you guys are interested in a personal reading with me, definitely send me an email and we will get you booked in. Okay, so the Lyrans, number 11, the feline Lyrans are sometimes referred to as lion people or cat people. The Lyran civilization originates from the North Lyra constellation, which also contains Vega. The Lyran genotype was often the dominant origin mother genotype used in ancient starseed projects of cosmos as they are one of the oldest bloodlines in the Milky Way galaxy. Many ETs within the Milky Way galaxy are ancestrally related to the ancient Lyrans. They usually stand six to 10 feet tall and are solid to muscular in build. Their complexions vary anywhere from light golden amber to dark chocolate brown hues. Some Lyrans have strawberry blonde to vibrant ginger red hair. The darker Lyrans have dark to black hair. So Lyrans live a harmonious, lifestyle and practice careful biodiversity of their ecosystem. They have feline type eyes and slightly pointed ears set higher on their heads. The Lyrans have battled many bloody cosmic wars in the past with the or Orion, Alpha Draconian, and Reptilian empires. Prior to the Egyptian pyramids ever being built, the ancient Egyptian Sphinx was built by the Lyrans and other visitors of the time during the Leo 2000 year constellation time phase of the procession of the equinoxes. <laughs> Lyrans do not suffer fools gladly and are an honest open bold and proud race they are known to be combative and fiery for matters they value dearly while also being warm and affectionate okay so this gives me leo energy <laughs> we have strength courage bravery defiant proud bold it did really remind me of the strength card except the difference being the number 11 and not number eight so we have queen for your archetype card radiance the regal radiates the regal feminine Energy uses her benevolent authority to protect others. Saboteur highlights your fear of self-empowerment and changes it would bring to your life. Mediator, gift for negotiating fairness and strategy in personal and professional life. Respect for both sides of an argument. Growth, I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. Change, I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. For your animal spirit, we got tiger, so another cat giving me fire energy. We got some tarot cards. We have the Hermit, the Seven of Swords, the Three of Wands, and the Star in Reverse. Okay. So we're going to do an energy check-in, and then we are going to get into your reading, just to confirm that this is your pile, group number two. So I feel like in normality, this person is quite vivacious um, and confident and bold, right? But whatever is going on in this connection, I do feel like has brought out some triggers, some insecurities within this person. I am getting that there could be no contact or separation currently between you guys. With the hermit, the seven of the six of Cor seven of swords, and the star in reverse. Star in reverse mainly. I'm feeling like this person is not feeling very special. They're not feeling very confident. They're not feeling very good about themselves. Um, I feel like they. It, this could also be that they're not feeling very confident about this connection between you two or. There is something that happened that went on to make this person feel 
like less than and I feel like they are trying to look at the situation from both sides. With Saboteur, I do feel like there could have been some self-sabotage in the connection or sabotage towards a connection. It could be if this person is feeling very vulnerable and intimate and that's not something that they usually feel. Maybe they don't let people get close to them with Queen. We have growth and change. I do feel like this connection is evolving. Like, I don't think this is the end. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what this person would have to say to you. But I do feel like... I do feel like there's a momentary separation. And I feel like it's necessary, almost, for this person. Because they um, are so... I don't know, triggered. I don't know why I'm even saying that. It's let me pull some more tarot cards. Three of Wands in reverse. Ten of Pentacles. King of Wands in reverse. Person's feeling. I feel like <laughs> their their energy could be very mercurial right now. So this could be some, your experience with them right now. I feel like um, I feel like this person's lacking confidence when it comes to something. I And it could be the stability of this connection or maybe you want stability and you want a relationship with this person. You've been asking for some sort of commitment from them and this is something that maybe freaked them out with the three of wands in reverse. Maybe they're looking at the situation too small and they're just kind of looking at it from their perspective and their ego and they haven't really taken a step back. And maybe that's what they're doing right now with the hermit energy. Because the hermit is a spiritual step back. It is It is like, okay, let me chill for a sec. And then let me really go within and, and think about my life. And think about my choices and <laughs> all that great stuff. And with the king of wands in reverse, the star in reverse, these are two very vivacious cards with describing a character in the reverse. This person's not feeling sexy. They're not feeling good about themselves. They're not feeling confident. I think they want to come towards you when they are feeling confident. And I think they had to do a necessary step back, a necessary cleanse. Honestly, it could have nothing to do with you in this relationship or connection. It could just be that this person is going through it right now and you guys are in a separation because of it. It could have to do with their work or whatever it may be. I do feel like they're in the middle of some sort of transformation. So if this is sounding like your pile, you're in the right place. I am going to continue and we are going to be talking about what this person wishes they could say to you, do some channel messages, and then you will have the option to accept. Okay, so I'm going to clear these up. What this person wishes they could say to you. We have the seven of wands. They're like, honey, I'm not going anywhere. I'll be right back. We have the fool. This person wants to make a... Yeah, they're not... If you feel like they're um, pulling away from you energetically, I feel like what they would say to you is like, just be patient with me. We have temperance. Like, I'm just going through it. I will come back. Like, I'll give you all the loving and everything will be fine. This person could quite literally with the seven of swords um, be gone because of work and they don't want to be gone. Okay, we have a seven of wands. They do want a, a victory here. They do want some sort of reconciliation. They do want to win. They, they want to come back. It's an energy of like fulfillment. It's an energy of like, I'm not done here. <laughs> we have the emperor clarifying the seven of wands. This person's very into you, they're very determined to make this work. Something that they would say to you is um, that they're not going anywhere. They, they, they're they very into you with the ember energy. They have their sights set on you. That's tunnel vision energy. It's someone who is 
determined and is going to fucking get what they want, right? So help them. We have the fool as well. So I feel like if this person did take a step back, they're not um, taking a step back from you. It could just be that there's a lot going on that this person has to deal with, okay? We have the fool. Clarify the fool for me what this person wishes they could say to you. We have the nine of wands in reverse. Nope, nine of wands. This person has a lot of sexual energy for you, so the extended will be very juicy. I feel like this person is very sexually attracted to you. They want to come towards you with this this stick of theirs. <laughs> the Knight of Cups, Knight of Wands. They want to come towards you. They want to romance you. I feel like night energy, not because they don't, they lack intention, but night energy because there's something that isn't allowing them to come towards you right now. There's something going on that has caused a separation in the connection and it could have to do with work. We have the Eight of Wands. This person could be very overwhelmed by responsibilities that they have in their life right now that they have to take care of. We have the Knight of Cups as well. So I do feel like this is someone who um does have a crush on you at the very least or have some sort of romantic interest in you and they're not um they're not going anywhere we have a page of swords i do feel like if you haven't heard from them you'll hear from them soon i don't see them not um hitting you up with the king of pentacles <coughs> the queen of cups this person um there's some sort of conflict that they're going through it, i i don't i don't know if it has anything to do with you um, I don't think it does. Page of Wands. There's something to do with a, like a travel restriction. Maybe this person lives overseas. Maybe it's long distance. Maybe they're traveling. Maybe they're doing something for work and they can't come see you. But I feel like it's like they would if they could. There's a lot of passion there. A lot of passion. And this person does think very highly of you and they think you're worth it. They think you're very sweet. Um... They're not rejecting you, okay? We have rejection in reverse. We have anxiety in reverse. You can release all that. In fact, if you are um, very spiritual, it is important to release that. Follow your intuition about the connection and do the cleanse. Get into an abundance mindset, not a chasing energy. Get into an attracting energy. I do feel like this person is very attracted to you. We have truth, financial and material changes, harmony. So this person could be going through some sort of disruption or some sort of financial loss or some sort of change and they're trying to get their stuff in order in order to come towards you. We have chemistry. We have chemistry and harmony. This could be the one. This person views you as someone that they're very, yeah, separation, very compatible with, has a lot of chemistry with. They're not taking that for granted. They're not going anywhere. They're not going to not take recognition of how rare that is a connection that you have between each other look we have tiger again doing something risky taking a chance this person could be out doing something risky right now and taking a chance or maybe maybe they see the situation with you as risky or taking a chance but they're there's that emperor energy as well that tunnel vision like they see it they see you and they're on it it's on we have pig beware of greed this person could have gambling issues we have well, family wishes come true. We have grasshopper. Situations in balance that require careful handling. Bold, do not back down from opposition. Show strength and, strap and fortitude. Pay attention to your work, desk, chain of the events that will affect your life. <coughs> what what is going on group number two fill me in on this there's something that this person is out doing that is somehow has a degree of risk taking let's do some channeled messages what would this person say to you you and i were too young i wonder if you are happy without me or i wonder if you would be happy without me We have, I couldn't let you get close to me. I wish things could be different. I want to feel that way again. It was my fault, but I blamed you. I love you unconditionally. <clears throat> okay, so this person could be seeing you as unavailable or they aren't able to communicate these things to you, but they would if they could. They, they wish they could. 
All right, group number two, I'm gonna leave this here and I'm gonna extend this. We're gonna do some more channeled messages, but we're gonna do an 18 plus and talk about your person's late night fantasies about you that is linked down below. Um, I am open for private readings. If you guys are interested in booking one with me, if you send me an email, I will send you all the information, all the packages that I offer. But in the meantime, however, stay safe and stay healthy and I will see those of you in your extended. Hello, group number three, welcome. If you guys chose the Moonstone, this is for you. If you also chose the Andromedan Alien Oracle card, number four, autonomy, free will, and manifestation. All right, so I wanna talk about this card a little bit, but we are here because you are wondering what your person would say to you if they could, what they wish they could say to you. Um, we're gonna do an energy check-in before we get into it to confirm that this is your pile. We will do some channeled messages in this reading, and then you will have the option to extend where we'll do more channeled messages, but we'll do an 18 plus on their late night fantasies about you. Okay, so you got the Andromedans. This is about self-agency, autonomy, telepathy, multi-sensory perception, go-getter energy, unique individual, quirky, eccentric. This person could be very quirky, eccentric, individualistic, unique. They could be an Aquarius, <laughs> Pisces. Scorpio, Sagittarius, we have free will. Okay. I'm not gonna read the whole thing. I did it last pile and I regretted it. And then I was like, well, I can't just end it on that note. <laughs> so I just went through it, the whole thing. But we have Andrew Medans. Let's look at your Oracle. I do have some pre-shuffled tarot as well to kind of help with the energy check-in. We have Storyteller, we have Goddess. Child, Eternal alchemist storyteller ability to experience and express life through stories and symbols goddess the feminine expressed through wisdom nature life force and sensuality child eternal determination to remain young in body mind and spirit ability to see things with fresh eyes and alchemist transformation of base motives and goals into golden wisdom <clears throat> we have discipline i can accomplish what i set my mind to Blame, I accept responsibility, responsibility for my well-being, and doubt, I release the need to know all the answers. For your animal spirit, we have bat and panther. So, we have fire energy, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. More fire with the four of wands. We have the eight of wands. The Devil and the Four of Pentacles. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. We have Capricorn with the Devil. All right. <clears throat> Group number three. See if this is your pile. I feel like this is someone who's very attractive. They could be very attracted to you and they could tell you that a lot. Um, I feel like this is someone who has a very youthful energy. They're very exuberant and unique and quirky and, and kind of unapologetically themselves. So I don't feel like this is someone that you wouldn't know who I'm talking about. I definitely feel like they, their presence is known in your life and other people's lives. Um, this could be someone who's very, um, has a lot of stories to tell. They could be someone who is a storyteller, a writer, a comic, someone of that nature. We have Panther. <clears throat> bat four of wands this could be someone that you would consider yourselves in like a spiritual connection with you could consider them a twin flame or a soulmate or someone that you feel like it was meant to be and that you guys met and your paths crossed Eight of wands. I feel like I feel like there could be, um, I need to pull some more cards. I, <sighs> clarify the four of wands for me. We have three of cups. Clarify the eight of wands, six of swords in reverse. Clarify the devil. Whoa. Clarify the devil. 
we have the Six of Wands. And then we'll clarify the Four of Pentacles. Six of Wands. Four of Pentacles again. Okay. So this could be someone you have a definite connection with, definite compatibility and spirituality and all that great stuff. But this connection hasn't gone anywhere. It's remained very surface level. It's remained very kind of like childlike, childish and that that you know there is this tension and there is some flirting and there is like those kind of things but I don't think this connection has gone anywhere I feel like this person's very guarded for those of you where it has gone somewhere this is like a connection where there this is like full-on x there's history here and like you guys are thinking about a reconciliation or there's some sort of energy here of maybe coming back together and it would be like starting over because it's like so much time has passed but I, I definitely am getting more of the vibe like this person is very guarded and shy and they're not very good at expressing themselves, which is probably why you're here. Like, what would they say to you? Because they don't communicate their feelings, let alone anything else. Um, they're just not good at that. That's not their thing. This person does watch you. They're very interested in you. They're very attracted to you. Um, they're, they could even doubt that you have feelings for them back or have some sort of interest in them, interest in in them at all um I do feel like I do feel like they mutually maybe they're not spiritual and that they're watching tarot card readings and all that but I do think they mutually agree that there is something here within this connection that is beyond words and is an energy that they can't deny I definitely feel like maybe this person feels your energy or they think about you a lot and they don't really understand it um and it could even haunt them in some sort of way with the devil energy and the lovers it's like it's you live in their brain rent free this person could be like very obsessed with you or attracted to you and to the point where it does feel like obsession um but it does trigger them with the three of cups in reverse six of swords in reverse i do feel like this person's very um it, that's a little intense for them right it's a it's a little much especially if they are more on the emotionally immature side and they're not as spiritually advanced they don't know how to process these feelings or what they're thinking or why you're always on their mind and so it could kind of freak them out a little bit and it does make them retreat into themselves which is why we have that four of pentacles coming out twice it's like they don't really know how to deal with those things let alone communicate them let alone communicate them to you so they just kind of like keep a distance or they they take their time apart all right, so that's what I'm seeing for the energy check-in. If this sounds like your bio, you're in the right place. We are going to get into it. We're going to talk about what this person wishes they could say to you. We're going to do some channel messages as well. You will have the option to extend, which is going to be an 18 plus. And we're going to talk about their late night fantasies. Okay. I feel like I'm going to sneeze. Okay. No. Yep. No. Nope. All right, so what does this person wish they could say? Look at this. We have the king of swords, the, the king of communication coming out in reverse because they don't know how to talk to you. <laughs> Maybe they don't know how to talk to you because there's some sort of common energy or animosity here in the connection between you two. Maybe they don't know how to talk to you because they've never spoken to you before. You know? <laughs> like, I don't know how to... I don't know how to start a conversation with this pretty person. I'd like to with the magician. I mean, they'd like to talk to you. Five of cups in reverse. Maybe they're just like, they don't feel like they have anything to go off of. Nine of wands. Maybe this person rejects themselves before you reject them or they're afraid of rejection. They're like, what does she or he want to do with me? We have the Queen of Pentacles coming out, clarifying the King of Swords in reverse. This person is looking at you as someone who's very high value and maybe even putting you on a pedestal to the point where you're not even in their league and they're kind of like, why would I talk to them? <laughs> like, why would they talk to me? Like, it's nice to dream about with the magician here. I do feel like this person fantasizes about you, but 
the five of cups in reverse and then the nine of wands next to it. This person's like, well, <laughs> look at this picture of him. He's like, hmm, I'll just be over here. And the ace of swords in reverse, the card of communication, the ace of swords in reverse, clarifying the magician. It's like this person doesn't, every time they think about it, like the possibility of talking to you, they psych themselves out and they don't. Eight of pentacles in reverse. Do they have a plan to? No. We have the world. Could the situation come full circle? Possibly. Three of pentacles. You could work together. You could be classmates or something of that nature. Maybe they can't. Maybe they're shy or maybe they've obviously seen you around with the queen of pentacles and the three of pentacles. And they feel something here. They definitely feel the intense attraction with the lovers, but they don't know that it's mutual. And so like them shooting their shot is kind of like... Uh, maybe even inappropriate, you know, dependent on your situation or where you are. They have isolation. Maybe they can't shoot their shot. Maybe maybe your whole work is like on a Zoom call and you guys like are in those little boxes. <laughs> that's like what I got in my mind. So like, could be. Definitely comment down below if that's true. We have energy, consciousness. Yeah, it's like they can feel the energy between you two but they don't know what that is they don't even know what energy is or they don't really talk about it the way we talk about it in the tarot community so they're just like i don't know but like there's a there's a consciousness here within this connection with the lovers is that card where it's like yeah that person's special and like there's something here in this connection that's special we have magic as well but it's not i just see that it has not been communicated like at all <laughs> we have accelerated motion it could be they want to um they'd love to with the storyteller i feel like this person <laughs> love to tell you a little story you know prosperity begins wisdom there's definitely um in the cards there's with the world too there is a chance for this like if you're into this person as well and this whole thing that's stopping them is that they don't think you're into them that's like an easy fix right because they're very into you too we have love yourself first you deserve love they're seeing you as lovable they're seeing you as someone obviously that they would want to get to know um but they just they didn't think you were approachable they're very afraid of rejection they didn't think you would be into them of all people so if that communic if that is communicated, I feel like by you, um, like you know what to do with wisdom, and I feel like it could turn this whole situation around quite literally with the wheel coming out, the high priestess, queen of cups. Yeah, I mean you're the you're the you're, you're the tarot card reader watcher i mean <laughs> you know more than they know fuck like give them a break so i do feel like they're, they're they'll need some assistance they're just very attracted to you as well i mean we're seeing we have goddess we have alchemist they're seeing you as someone that's just very like queen of pentacles like everything you touch turns to gold you're just kind of like affluent and above them and i don't know if that's really true we have bread period of prosperity and abundance maybe you quite literally are wealthy or of a higher status or class than them we have fan and it intimidates them we have romance celebration party we have hammock taking a vacation physically or mentally person wants to romance you they might want to invite you to a party or there's some sort of vacation that y'all could be going on together or we have bold do not back down from opposition so strength and fortitude we have angel spiritual guidance protection of arm younger man dealings or relationships with the younger man and i don't know why they did him like this has anyone else noticed that like why'd you do him like that like damn but this could be, you know, a situation or dealing with a younger man or you are. Okay, what would this person say to you? We have, my life is not as together as it seems. I will wait for a sign from you because this person literally does not know how to, they don't think you're into them and they're like trying to read you. 
finding out the truth crushed me. I hide behind material things. Maybe this person's stunned and acting like they're on the same, you know, lane as you or something. I don't know your situation. Comment down below. I know that I crossed the line with you. I want to feel that way again. Maybe this person said something stupid or they put their foot in their mouth and they're like, well, they're never going to talk to me again. I wish I could share my good news with you. I left when I saw you with someone else. I feel you even though we're apart. So there is that energy card. I want to tell you how I feel. So they do want to like tell you how they feel. They just feel like they can't, which seems to be like the theme of all the piles today. But I, I do feel like they're trying to quantify and figure out like how they're feeling you, even though you guys aren't together. Like I, I do feel like this is new to them. So they are trying to navigate it and a little bit difficult because they're not as like spiritually evolved. All right, so that's what I'm seeing, group number two. I hope that resonated. If you guys want to extend this, you can. And I am going to do more channeled messages and an 18 plus on their late night fantasies about you. If you wanted to book a private reading with me, you can do that as well. That's linked down below. In the meantime, however, stay safe and stay healthy. And I will see you guys in the extended.